a deep and meaningful story. hi yo. So my name is Al, and I don't know where I'm going with this. Why is this keyboard so big? I could write a book on here if I wasn't so lazy, but unfortunately for you, I am very, very lazy. So I'll only say this. Doug. Did you write this part or did I write this part? You wrote this part. The man was a knight. The knight watched the sunset. He enjoyed the fluorescent hues, the stars, and then, with a capital N, they exploded! But did he live? Well, you see, that is the open ending. You are the perspective now. The choice is up to you. Hunter here. Well, you see, Explosion Mart had a slow, uh, wait, had wait, a slow wait, day wait, that wait, day. Hold on. That, that, it's in all caps. You have to say it like, EXPLOSION MART! Alright, but never interrupt me again. <laughs> well, you see, EXPLOSION MART had a slow day that day, so the explosion was only a lighting effect. But the knight knew that if he did not stop it, the keyboard wouldn't be as unsmall as it wasn't a few minutes from a time opposite to now future's events ago. So he grabbed what the Lyre of Windhaven believed to be the liquid manifestation of the fabled legend of the teapot's heritage and scriptures of the fabled Poe propeller of destiny and clicked that sucker! But it was a trap! A trap! The stone the knight believed to be a pebble fling itself into the cold night air. That's the wrong knight. That's, pro that's probably intentional. Maybe the knight's just full of knights. Soon the sheep were moving like cats and the dragon fell over. What dragon? Granvin hastily shouted with the fury of a thousand Mjolnirs pounding the echoey mountainsides, Slap my hand! Triggering the flow and the flow and the hand and the flow of an end and that o, o floor follow and corruption seep into Mars, blowing up all the bricks on the left side of our wheelbarrow. But what happened next? That is up to you. Or the next person who finds the story. I return! The flow could not be contained. The river was unstoppable. But then I came back. The knight would never let it end like this. He explained if I... <laughs> He explained, if I don't get my sun-baked extra rock salted potato wedge cornucopia and natural wheat pita pie with extra gravy proof sauce and cheddar cheese because of this river, I will annihilate them! Little did he know that Dave had been following him this whole time as the knight kicked the last mufa into the river to stop its ravenous flow of carnage. Dave yelled, it! The knight whirled around and actually smacked Dave into the river with his 20 foot long... <laughs> <gasps> Do deca man decimusent dendaitin longsword! No! yelled Patty's father's uncle's brother's pen pal's older cousin's <laughs> sister's grandfather, who had been watching this whole time, <laughs> as Dave hit the tree with a loud <laughs> Suddenly, it made sense to the alligator's best friend, Chippy the Yellow Bird. <laughs> Water could not be imitated with lighting effects, it had to be blown up with niceness. So Chippy sailed into space and grabbed his telephone that Timberwolf had misplaced and called the pizza place, knowing that on the other end would be the salvation they needed. Or was it? It wasn't! In space, there were witnesses to Chippy's escape. And while there was no rock salt in space, there was a fair deal of mainly inedible space dust and the odd floofball that watched it all happen with a keen kind of interest that only cats can see. Because that was the fact of the matter. There were cats. What you don't know about cats, especially space cats, is the they. <laughs> Am I reading that right? Yes. Is, is the, the they. Is is the they can harbor more anger than a human or bird, and their anger burns hotter than the heat of a thousand suns. And these cats were enraged. Why? Well, why not? Cat Catberry, the 998 XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
That is when the cats decided that the hills needed to exist. Bellowing in anger, they slapped the river so hard it turned into an ice cube that was colder than the icy breath of Jack Frost himself. Everyone knew that the ravenous flow of the river would continue the instant that ice cube melted, so they built a massive wall out of exotic feather pens around the ice cube to ensure the water never ever ever escaped. But it did! The ice cube knew that the masses would be foolish enough to try to imprison it, though the exotic feather fens were far too durable for the ice block. It took advantage of the masses' foolish mistakes. They forgot to add waterproof coating! The ice block crashed against the exotic fens, <laughs> forcing, I mean, send force sending massive all across the sidewalk in the world. Afraid of water, the cat had jumped into another <laughs> into another galaxy to escape the flow of the water. But now the 700-year-old knight slowly shamed up the angry ice cube and shouted, You are better than this! The ice cube looked down, tears in its face. You're right, it said. And so it jumped into space and became a ball. And that's why Pluto exists. But there was still the massive pile of mufas everyone had piled up in an attempt to dam the river 701 years ago. And the mufas were very cross with the peeps who left them to moof. Bellowing in a bone-chilling belch of anger, the Mufas yelled, Min Yen Soup! and exploded into a massive woolly pile of fluff and strawberry cuddles. They then blasted through the river and smashed into Maggie, who unfortunately decided to walk down the most dangerous river in the world that day. And sent her spiraling one quarter and a half a tenth of a foot. <laughs> Biff, the descendant of the Mufas legendary hero, Biffy Biffington, son of Biff Biffington it shouted at the top of his slash her lungs. We are going to do what we never would have even ever begun to block in our side of our forgiveness and doth bequeath our pride upon which we lay eaten when the babe first declared a drink of the deepest hue of fathomless smoothie made of banana that doth strike thine own interest upon this terrain in which we dance our merry paws across. With a heap, fresh heap of motivation, the Mufashan army jumped over to the ocean and got wicked sun tanned. <laughs> Wait, I gotta say, like, got wicked suntans on the beach, man! At last, they were happy until the secret of the beach was revealed to them. Disclaimer, none of that was supposed to make any sense. Unfortunately, it's been Allie's turn for several months now, and she still hasn't written anything, so I guess this is the fated conclusion. Uh, it could be worked off! Okay, never mind. Oh, bitch, you thought! You thought I was done? Scoff. How wrong you were! I wasn't wrong. Last edit was June 14th, 2018. You were done. That's just what I want you to think. <laughs>